Hey, do you want to learn how to use CapCut AI Video Maker? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use it. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get to it. So first, go over to CapCut.com and you'll be taken over here in the start page. Click on Free AI Video Maker, which is going to take you over to the AI Dash Creator page. Now, over here, you can click on Instant AI Video. So click on this, try it. And let's see how to use instant AI video in CapCut. Now on the right hand side, it's going to open up over here. You can choose a style. These are all the styles that they have got. I'm going to go over here and click on fluffy 3D. I like this one. And aspect ratio, we're going to keep it 16 by 9. If you want to make a short form, you can go for 9 by 16. Let's, go, let's just keep it 16 by 9. Now let's generate a script. You can write a topic and it's going to turn it into a script with AI. But if you've already got a script ready, you can just click here next to it and paste your script here. So let's generate a script. I'm going to type in a topic, something like this, a fat cop looking for a human cat thief. Cat stole a valuable diamond. On the bottom, you've got this AI voiceover. Let's click on it. And these are all the voiceovers that they have got. Next to it, you've got duration. We can select the duration for the video. Let's keep it five minutes. Now let's click on create on the bottom right. And then it's going to start creating the script, create the voiceover and generate media for us. And the best part is that it's all free. So you do not need to use vsub.io or any other tool that generates videos like this. All right, so it has now generated our video. Let's take a look at it, just 10 seconds. And then at the end, I'm going to preview the whole video for you to check out. A fat cop is looking for a human cat thief. The cat has stolen a very valuable diamond. Now, you're probably thinking this is about a movie or something. All right, looks nice. And uh, you can see here on the left hand side, these are the images that it has generated and we can trim it, replace it and delete it from here. So if you want to replace it, then you can use the AI media. So. For example, I can choose a style from here, a spec ratio, the description, and it's going to generate it. Just need to click here. You can also go over to stock media. So this is, this is probably from Pexels or Pixabay. So you can use these as well, but it's not going to look good for our AI cartoon video. So best not to use this, or you can also upload your own media. Maybe you've got it from another AI image generator, so you can download it from there and upload it over here. Or you can just use the AI media that is inside here. Anyway, let's go back and you can change the text here on the left hand side. You can click on here to change the voice over. So you can remove this detective voiceover and go for Adam if you want. There's also different languages here. So you can go for French or Spanish. You can also create your own custom voice. Let's try it out. I'm going to read out this sample text. The smell of the fresh bread wafting from the bakery is an irresistible invitation to taste the simple pleasures in life. It is a comforting aroma that fills the street with promise. So this is basically going to clone your voice. Let's see what it has created. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Okay, that sounds great. It does sound like me. It's much better than using something like play.ht. I've tried cloning my voice there and it just sounds weird. So this is nice and it's also free. So that's amazing. So you can just name your own voice here, something like this and save it. All right, so here we go. And you can edit it if you want, increase the speed or decrease it. Let's select this. And on the bottom, you're going to find this replace for all scenes. It's free. Let's click here and it's going to say regenerate voiceover for all the scenes. Let's click on continue and it's going to start generating it again. All right, let's take a listen to the first 10 seconds. A fat cop is looking for a human cat thief. The cat has stolen a very valuable diamond. Now you're probably thinking this is about a movie or something, but it's not. This is about me. Okay, that sounds nice. Now on the left hand side, there is also avatar. So you can add a talking AI avatar on your video. If you want to learn how to do it, how to create your own custom avatar and such, I'll make another video on it. You can check it out at the end on the right hand side or how to make an AI custom avatar in CapCut. For now, let's go over on the extreme left and click on scenes, which is where we are right now. This is voiceover, you can go over to media, 
you can generate the AI media, you can match your media, upload and automatically match your media, that's also there. I've made a video on this as well, you can check it out. There's match stock footage, you can do that as well. Let's go over here and script. You can create a new script by, by clicking over here and adding a topic, the key points and such, mimic writing style. You can also upload your video and then it's going to extract from it the requirements and such. And there is elements next which is going to add keywords, music, effects, stickers with AI. Let's check it out. You can also customize it. So if you just want to add keywords or sound effects, you can disable both of these other ones. Let's keep it at medium and apply. Let's see what it does. All right, it has edited with AI. Let's take a look at the first 10 seconds. A fat cop is looking for a human cat thief. The cat has stolen a very valuable diamond. Now you're probably thinking this is about a movie or something, but it's not. This is about me. I look like this and I am a cat burglar. I travel all around the world stealing diamonds, really expensive ones, and my favorite place to steal diamonds is from fat cops. I love stealing diamonds from fat cops. It's my favorite thing in the world, and here's why. Once I was in Brazil, okay, and I saw a really big, juicy, fat cop. And I thought, wow, this guy must have some nice expensive stuff at home. So I went to his house and I rang the doorbell and I said, Okay, that was really funny. <laughs> That's why I kept it running for 39 seconds. That's nice. And uh, the sound effects it added and the music and the way it's speaking is really funny. All right. It also added this comedy background music, actually. There's elements. So you can remove the elements if you want. Remove the auto enhance from here. If you do not want those, you can just remove it from here. So now on the bottom here, on the left hand side, you see caption template. If you want to change how the captions are animated, you can do that. So for example, I can click over here to change the captions. And you can see on the right hand side, the captions have been changed. This actually looks much better than the last one. So let's keep it. There are more caption templates if you want to use them. Just click on any one of them and then you can use it. I think these with this diamond on the top left, I don't think we can use them or can we? I'm not sure. I think we can use them, but if we try to export it, there would be a problem. We would need to upgrade to a pro plan or something. I'm not sure, but because this icon for sure is for pro plan. Let's just go here and use this old one that we had before. Now on the extreme left, we have also got music, so we can choose from here, but because it has already added it, so let's just keep it like that. I like that comedy background music. So yeah, this is it. And if you want to edit more, like if you want to fine tune the editing, you can go here to click on edit more, and it's going to load the project in your edit page of CapCut. So it's basically going to load you into the editor. So over here, you can remove or update the text like you do in CapCut. You just need to click on each of these elements and if you do not like it, just remove it from here. Just click on delete and remove it. You can also add animations from the right hand side and such. Just like you do in normal CapCut editor, basically. You've got all this, which you can use on the left hand side, add more elements and such. Let's close this. We don't need this for this tutorial. We're actually just looking at the AI video maker. So here on the top, you've got recents. This is for if you want to look at your recent video generations, your other video generations like this one, you can click here to delete it by clicking on these three dots and clicking on delete. You can also start a new project by clicking over here to start a new project. And if you're wondering what this is, this is basically autosave, which is going to be saved in cloud like you see in Canva. Canva also has this feature, so it's basically a cloud save icon. On the extreme right, we have got export. You can click here to export it. Just enter the file name. The video quality would be much better when we export it. So I'm going to show you that next. So let's just say fat cop. Quality recommended. Let's keep it at recommended. For resolution, we could go up to 4K. Let's try it out. MP4. Frame rate, let's make it 60 FPS and click on export. All right, so the video has been exported and we can click here to save it to your device. I've already clicked it and it's currently downloading it to my computer. It's one GB, that's a lot, but let's see how good of a quality it produces. Let's check out the output. 
a fat cop is looking for a human cat thief. The cat has stolen a very valuable diamond. Now you're probably thinking this is about a movie or something, but it's not. This is about me. I look like this and I am a cat burglar. I travel all around the world stealing diamonds, really expensive ones, and my favorite place to steal diamonds is from fat cops. I love stealing diamonds from fat cops. It's my favorite thing in the world, and here's why. Once I was in Brazil, okay, and I saw a really big, juicy, fat cop, and I thought, wow, this guy must have some nice expensive stuff at home. So I went to his house and I rang the doorbell and I said, hi there sir, may I come in? He goes, sure. And he opens up his door, and I go walking in and I see all of his valuables, and I was like, oh man, this guy's got some nice stuff. So I go over to his safe and I open it up and I see a bunch of guns and I am like, wow, this guy's got a lot of guns. Then I look over and I see a little jewelry box and I open it up and inside of it, there is a really nice diamond ring. And I'm like, oh, perfect. I'll take this. Then suddenly the fat cop comes out of his room and he goes, what are you doing? And I turn around and I go, oh, nothing. I was just admiring your nice things. Then he gets really angry and he starts chasing me around his house. I'm like, oh, this is fun. You know, it reminds me of a game that we used to play when I was a kitten. We used to chase around the house and I haven't had fun in a long time. So this fat cop is chasing me around and I'm just having a great time. But then he corners me and he gets really close to my face and he says, give me back my ring. And I'm like, no, then he takes a swing at me and hits me right in the eye. And I'm like, ow, that hurt. But I got the last laugh because I escaped and I kept the ring. That's why I love stealing from fat cops. They're always so easy to trick. They're so dumb. Okay, enough about that. I am telling you this story because recently I have come across a new diamond that I want and it is in the possession of a fat cop. But he's a tricky one. See, he keeps his diamond in a really safe place. In fact, it's in a safe inside of a safe inside of another safe and I've already tried to steal it twice and he caught me both times. And the worst part is I have to keep running away. I can't even fight back because he has three bodyguards with him at all times. Now those bodyguards, they're not that tough. They're actually pretty easy to beat up. But the problem is if I do beat them up, then the fat cop will call more bodyguards and then I'll be surrounded and then I'll get into trouble. So I have to be smart about it. I have to come up with a better plan. In fact, I need your help. I need you to distract the fat cop while I come and steal the diamond. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna dress up like this. You are gone, na go to the fat copy's house and you are gone, na knock on his door and you are gone, na say, hi there, Mr. Policeman, may I come in? And he'll say, sure. And then you're gonna go in and you're gonna ask him for some money. You're gonna ask him for $20. Now he's not gonna give you $20 because he's a cheap skate. In fact, he's gonna tell you to get out. And when you tell him to get out, you're gonna start recording on your phone. You're gonna record him being a meanie. Then you're gonna post it on social media and you're gonna make him famous. That's where I come in. While all this is happening, I'll sneak in through the window and I'll steal. The diamond. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready to help an old friend? Help me get my revenge on this fat cop. Good. Now go wash your face. You have spinach in your teeth. Also brush your hair. It looks like a bird's nest. Okay, now go get him. All right, so that's it. That's how to use the CapCut's new AI video maker. I hope this video helped solve your problem. If it did, let me know with the like and comment. Also on the right hand side, you're going to find more CapCut related tutorials. So see you there and bye for now.